And hello there everyone, welcome to Victoria 2. I am a Bogmod, and today we are back in the wonderful year of 1936. Oh, auto saves. My games. My old games. Games I've tried. Games I've succeeded at. But enough of the past, time to look to the future. And today I've got an idea in mind. Yes, we're going to try our hand at playing the Chinese Empire. Yes? I've never tried my hand at playing a, well, I've never successfully <laughs> tried my hand at playing an uncivilized nation, so this should be, uh, should be interesting. There's a lot of, but an uncivilized nation? Mm, no, that's new. So here we are. Let's switch to that boat. Blunk! Chinese Empire. You'll notice there's lots of different chunks, right? You got Mongolia. We got uh, Xinjiang, uh, Qinghai, Yunnan, Guangxi. The proper, our, our proper territory, uh, Manchu, Manchuria. Oh, Manchu, Manchuria. The Manchuist. You'll notice that uh, we've got some issues, though, with our research. We can't, we can't, we can't research these things. We have to westernize first. Which will be kind of what we're going to focus on first things first. So there's going to be some, some stuff we're going to have to do first. But as always, let's consider our uh, our nation. Let's crank these numbers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Guess I could use more tariffs. Taxes and tariffs. Tariffs and taxes. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that number plays out in a bit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. right, we'll see how we'll see how the numbers play. For now, we're going to do that. We, of course, we have only a single, tiny, singular focus that we can work on, which is terrible. Well, Northern Zli, you're my most populous nation. You're going to visit from the clergyman factory. Oh, yeah. Of course, we want to get that clergyman number up to 4% if we can, because we have an abysmal literacy rate of 3.5%. Uh, oh, that's abysmal. You'll notice we are ranked number one militarily in the world, though. So that's a good start for us. Uh, let's take a look. We're going to... Okay, that should be fine. Policies. Form. So... This is, uh, this is how we're going to westernize, right? We need to get various reforms. And once we get enough reforms, we get, uh, we westernize. We'll see, uh, like here, right here. Land reform. Um, you get plus 15%, um, from, from picking that one, right? Or you could take administrative, which is 10%. It's 35%, international... International debt, blah blah blah. But also more importantly, over here, you'll notice we get research bonus points from conquering nations. Now that will be the key to our eventual success. The conquerings. So that's kind of what we're gonna save up our points for. Um, though we need <laughs> nearly seven thousand points. And we're getting 3.3 .3 a day. And we're at. We're getting. We're getting. Uh, at 1.5 a day. So it's gonna. It's gonna be a little while before we can get that. Ah. <sighs> well, let's at least unpause it. Or yeah, unpause the game to get things running. Mm -hmm. Where is that speed ticker? There it is. Well, we're going to have to increase our speed to three at the very least, because, you know. Else it would take forever. Uh, we're going to have to play around with our spending in a bit. I, I see. We don't need as much stockpiled. Oops. And we're going to spend as much on the military. Right now, at least. There we go. We're making money. Right? 
Cause I mean, I've got I've got a ridiculous amount of soldiers, anyways. So, mm -hmm. fifty-two brigades scattered, kind of all over. This is fine for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of these territories will unify under one. Once we westernize, if we westernize. So that's going to be kind of our, our goal. In fact, I think I'm going to have to crank that up to speed 4 at the very least, or we're never going to get anywhere. Now that would be terrible. Even as it is, it might take us years. Years. Now, if I recall correctly, you get more points. Um, nation ranking. Pairs. Ah, yes, here we are. You get points more from um, conquering more populous places. Right, so as you can see, uh, Japan would be another good target. Except we'd, we're gonna, we'd need boats, and I don't have boats, so that might be hard to get at. Uh, Panjab. Panjab has, ten, has just about 11 million people. They are a perfect target. Hello. An alliance offer from Dynam. Uh, pass. <coughs> I don't really need allies right now. What I need is to eventually just conquer the crap out of some of these guys. Conquer Panjab, right? We can conquer... Um... Mm -hmm. Egypt's a bit far away. Korea? Or your bad. Mm. See, Dynam, there we are. There's you know, another target. Persia, maybe. Oh. Uh, Kazan, two precious metals. A gold rush there. For a couple years. Cool. We got uh, gold in uh, Kaozhou. I think. So, uh, go us. I am. Yeah, lots, lots of nations to go for. And of course, all that sort of stuff will be giving us a lot of uh, infamy, and a way you can counteract your infamy games. Gains. So, ooh, what's we got? T. Uh, let's take some cash. Mm -hmm. Once you get enough, um, or once you control a place, you can. Let's see if I can find the tab for it. Uh, where's that? Yeah, you release nations, and it decreases your infamy. We're out here. Brazil and Colombia are at war. Lang Prabang is our best friend. The UK is showing off. Mexico got bigger. Steam engine. It's all the usual things. Where Northern Lee is? There's Northern Lee, our most populous region. Mm -hmm. yeah, I might have to crank that up a little bit higher, but eh, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, the we are uh, we can't build factories until we civilize. There's a lot of other things we can't do, so worrying about our government right now doesn't matter so much. We could build factories, except for our, our tech. So there's that. Now some of these guys... Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Let's, look, let's look around a bit. Military Parade, gain three prestige. Eight prestige, but everyone gets a little more militant. I'm okay with an unmatched glory of a parade. Our nation may be broken, but our army is not. In their eyes, as they parade through the streets, can be seen nothing but utmost devotion to the Chinese Empire and the ideals for which our nation stands. These men, and the description fits them, have been fostered since childhood in rigid firm belief in our nation. We have died to defend it. Long live the Chinese Empire. Wink. I'll take eight prestige. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
let's let's try Panjab. There we go. So justify war, conquest, taking all of their land and in, a, in a single glorious invasion. Whereas some of them are too big to go and eat in one one bite. Yeah, see, Siam is too big to eat. There's too many states. So I could, I'd have to acquire a state, and then eat more of them in, in, in additional goes. Meh. Nah. What's in the paper? Mongolian insults us. Where's Mongolia? Where's Mongolia? Aren't you? Yeah, you're a subset of mine. Why the. Mongolia insulted us for some reason. Unitarianism in America? Hanover is getting okay with Russia. Alright, classical theory and uh, critique in Krakow. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. So, we do have a lot of soldiers, and we can have a lot more soldiers. There are, of course, limitations on what kind of things we could, we could you know, recruit. So as you can see, you can recruit lots of stuff, but all we have are regulars and cavalry, which is just sad. Speaking of sad, I should put a gathering point somewhere. Oh, there we are, a rally point. When I build my stuff, they can all they can all travel to southern Zili. Zili, I'm not perfect on pronunciation. Nope, declined. All these guys. Um. Mm. So, might as well build some more armies. Uh. Mm. more. There we are. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I guess I might as well have some of these guys also unify. Gather up into a single spot. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, the poor can lose militancy. Speaking of, I should gather my actual armies from all the distant corners of the Empire. Into one place. Then I can split them out from there. All the tea, all the tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of tea. So I do have... I have some uh, actual proper militaries. I just can't build any more of them. Which is just terrible. Coronation of Queen Victoria, Princess Alexandrina Victoria of the House of Hanover, the throne, the height of the British Empire, upon which the sun never sets, the last British monarch of the House of Hanover, ascension also marked, <clears throat> her ascension also marked at the end of the personal union between Britain and Hanover, the day a jubilant crowd in London has escorted the young Queen Victoria to her residence in the newly built Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. Whee! 
There we are. I need to split some of these guys up, though. I've got too many in one place. Oops. There we are. Can't have them starving. I mean, I, I could, but I don't particularly want to. I'll put some guys in the capital, of course. Because why not? Right? Ah, oh, we dropped down to second place. See, this is the problem with our research situation. <clears throat> Come on, clergyman. We need more of you. But hey, we've gained 0.6 of a percent of literacy, which is, for the Nassaz of our nation, a whole lot of people. So we are, there we are. 2,000 points! We are well on our way. I mean, we're getting... We're getting two a day. So at this rate, we're looking at less than a decade. Woo! I'm gonna check out some more papers. Got the coronation. Uh, the Russian Empire lost one of their, their writers, Pushkin. Mm. Russian Egypt, Spanish fear. So, how, so, you know, one of the nice things is that when we go to war, these vast armies of our satellites will go to war with us. So that, that's nice. Tibet, part of our territory. So yeah, Punjab will be definitely be the next we're gonna eat, even though they are an ally of Persia. <laughs> uh, what little good it'll do them. See, they are they are also uncivilized. So again, when it comes down to uncivilized nations, it's really just gonna be a matter of numbers and little else. That's a good question. Can I even build boats? I could build some boats. Which would make Japan a possible target. Mm. Peru's nation. Uh, Brazil, Bolivia, Chinese War. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of things you can't do. You know, we don't, we can't sphere nations. We can't, you know, join into crises and and all those good fun things. But you know what? It's fine. It's all fine. We have other things we'll get ourselves doing. Ah, mm. oh. you know what? Let the rich be rich. Probably for life needs. Middle class, not getting all their life needs. So they're definitely not getting anything. Too bad. I guess I need my money, don't I? And then when I go to war, finally, or I, I can afford to build things, I, I'll be able to just throw money into the wind and make things happen. No infamy, no stress. Barely any militancy or conscientiousness. Consciousness. So I'm not too worried about what my people think. Uh, I've got armies. How many do I have? A couple hundred, nearly 200,000? Thereabouts. Oh. Anti Banshu feelings. All pops. Population uh, change. Not Manchu. I've observed growing levels of discontent, even hostility towards a dynasty. 
Feeling is inflamed by the humiliating presence of the foreign devils in our cities and harbors. How shall we respond? Hmm. Well, let's get rid of the foreign devils. I, I don't want any devils. Who wants a devil? Now we're going to take a little break here. We will uh, keep pushing towards getting that first one, and then, oh, then we can really jumpstart our research with some uh, befriending. And, well, in this era, there's only one kind of befriending one does. See you soon. <laughs>